your man Jay Graves, and welcome to the Jay Graves Report College Football Weekly Wrap Up Week 13. Y'all know how we get it in, so let's get it in. Big time rivalry weekend last weekend. Ball game, most of these ball games have been played more than 100 times. You know, hey, it doesn't get any better than college football, bruh. When you got games that have been played since 1900, since 1920, since 1915, doesn't get any better than that, and the bit of rivalry moves on. Let's go to the first ball game, the game, Ohio State, Michigan. Number 19, Michigan, shows up in the horseshoe to play Ohio State. Undefeated Ohio State. The Ohio State could be playing for the national championship right now because they undefeated. Beat Michigan 26-21. Got to feel bad, bro, to be on that ball club, to be on that campus knowing that you could be playing the Notre Dame for the national championship. Now, I will say this. Like I said at the beginning of the season, when Michigan got the doors blown off of them by Alabama, the duh offensive coordinator cost them the ball game, cost them the ball game again this weekend. It's almost like he allowed Mickey Mouse to call the plays over the weekend, bro. I mean, they went into halftime 21-20, didn't score a point after the half, and was duh in the play calling. I mean, it's almost like he just went in and made a deal with the devil to lose the ball game at halftime. If you admit, if you're a Michigan fan right now, you ought to be pulling your teeth out and turning your skin inside out, bro, because the offensive coordinator is dull. Let's move on to the next ball game. Let's go down to the big ball game down in Georgia between the hedges. Georgia Tech goes to Georgia, plays between the hedges, and got the doors blown off on this weekend, 42 to 10. I mean, what do you want me to say, bro? I mean, it just makes absolutely no sense how bad the ACC looked last weekend. Not only did they get blown out, Clemson got the doors blown off of them by South Carolina. Let's move on to the next ball game. Let's go out to the Pac-12, number five, the Parliament Funkadelic, Oregon, goes to number 15, Oregon State, went out to Corvallis to play the Civil War. Well, it wasn't too much of a Civil War because the Parliament Funkadelic put up 48 points and went to the crib. They beat them 48-24. Now, the bad, the bad part about it is I feel bad for Oregon because they lost one ball game against Stanford, who's number 14. They only lost by, by three points against Stanford. Now they're sitting on the outside. They shouldn't have fell asleep at the wheel, bro, because at this point they're getting screwed because they should at least have opportunity to play for all the marbles, but when you fall asleep at the wheel and the powers that be want to put boys in the game, it is what it is. Now, let's move on to the next ball game. Number four, Florida goes to Tallahassee to play number 10, Florida State. Now, Florida State goes out there. Once again, just like the Michigan, Florida State got these boys on the ropes going into the fourth quarter. Gives up 24 points in the fourth quarter. I can hit Denny Green all over again. We, they were who we thought they were, but we let them off the hook. Let them off the hook. Scored 20, gave up 24 points in the fourth quarter. Duh. Come on, Jimbo Fisher. You got to do better than that down the stretch. Let's go down to the last ball game. Number one, Notre Dame goes to L.A., to the Coliseum. And plays USC. Now, USC came out without Matt Barkley, but the young boy, Max Whitty, put in work. I mean, this kid was dynamite, but it wasn't good enough for, to, to beat Notre Dame. Notre Dame's defense was the real deal. Goal line stance in the fourth quarter. I mean, these guys are the real deal. And I can't say enough about my man, Everett Golson. He got a rocket on him, bruh. I'm telling you. Y'all can hate on Notre Dame all you want, but as much as it sickens me to say they the real deal, and it doesn't matter, in my opinion, who shows up to play them in a national championship, they going to have problems because that young boy got a gun. And the cats in the SEC, outside of LSU, defensive second days is dumb. And I'm going to tell you, Alabama, 
defensive secondary is dull. I've been saying it all year. Johnny Football exposed them. And I'm not even going to talk about Georgia because Georgia is Mark Rick's Georgia. They're probably going to get the doors blown off of them this weekend down in Atlanta. But we'll talk about that on Thursday. So keep up with your man. It's your man, Jay Graves, from the jgravesreport.com. Or you can hit me up on Twitter at jgravesreport and holla at your boy.